I'm gonna do a com not a compression test, but oil pressure test into the motor before we tear the motor apart. We got a stuck ring, and I'm also gonna replace the crankshaft and connecting rod or rods bearings. So you can see it's smoking. So we'll start it up. It's got about 40 PSI. See right there. PSI. That's bars. So we're going to go with the PSI. So it's got about 35, 40, which is normal. Now we'll rev it up to 2000 RPM. So 2000 RPM. Thousand RPM and 50, so that's good. But that's not good. It's like a train. Stuck ring in one cylinder. Cylinder number three, second, and the passenger. We did a compression test and it's only got 150 instead of close to 500. So, yeah. Close that back up. So, before I tear the motor apart, I just wanted to see what my oil pressure is at, and that is at the top. Okay, this is your oil pressure standing unit. Okay, that's at the top of the oh, this is at the top of the cylinder head, which is right there. Okay, it goes right there. Take that out. You use a 1516. Okay, I'm not sure what size thread this is because it was already sitting on my gauge, and I just used a 716 to tighten this. Now this is a tapered thread on my tool, so do not tighten this hard. Just a tiny, tiny bit. You can see if I try to do it, about tiny, just a little bit. You need to tighten it, not over tighten that one. You will wreck the threads in here probably. And then, yeah. This is not tapered. You can see, it's got a washer in there. So it's just a normal thread that goes all the way through and it just puts pressure against that aluminum washer and that's what seals it from leaking. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you have any comments uh, just, uh, or any questions, just leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you wanna see some more uh, videos that I'll be posting. Thanks.